something up. Yeah. That's be peaceful and respect the laws of whichever region we're uh, currently inhabiting. No, oh, and we just lost 50 viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, well, folks should be able, uh, likely to your detriment of your health, uh, see us and hear us. And we're back with some uh, Shadowrun using the one roll engine um, by uh, some coincidence. Uh, we never play Shadowrun with the wheel system. That's, that's just how it is. Just how it is. Uh, but tonight we have Chuck. Introduce yourself. Tell us who you're playing. Oh my gosh. I'm Chuck. I'm playing Ivan, our spellcaster, uh, and the best friend of the best scout, as well as uh, our leader, uh, Gantu over there. Oh, Gantu's the leader. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, Gantu's that's always been the leader. We saw what <laughs> happened when I was put in charge first session. That's true. That's true. I don't think anyone wants to assume that mantle of responsibility. Yeah. 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 This is, this is unfortunately very true. Uh, speaking of Gun too. Uh, yeah. So I'm playing uh, Gant to Reboa, who is a dwarven street samurai and local business uh, owner, small business owner, uh, and uh, has had some trouble with his portfolio of late, but is looking for a potential opportunity here to maybe get some investment capital to possibly uh, once again expand that portfolio beyond uh, Steve's squeaky cleaners. I think it's Stefan's speedy cleaners is what we're playing with right now as we're in the Caribbean. Uh, but uh, also avid bowler and uh, and all, I think Ivan, you, you sold yourself short. You're also uh, you're also regular employee of the month as well. Yeah, yes. The cleaning service. Except yeah. for last Over month, uh, Scout, the best Scout won last month. Yes. I'm okay Right, that. but that's, if I mean, I got to come in second yeah. place. Yeah. I mean, you bring the owner his slippers one time. And, and that's, that's enough. That's really? all it takes. That's it. All it takes. I still yeah. think that was just a social media marketing campaign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dion. Yes, I'm Dion. That's that is my name. Yes, and I have a character, and uh, she has a name, and uh, it's a good one. It's uh, Marina No Diamonds. She's a shaman. That's it. Mm. Mm, was that it? Uh, scout mm. two. <laughs> so I am the best scout, the original scout. Let, let's go original scout. That's uh, fair. I am a half orc ex cop. Uh, trying to become a cop again uh despite these guys always holding me back uh as you can tell i'm kind of the punching bag of the group that's because i'm the best of the group uh i have the best morals i have the best aim they're all just jealous so mm. yeah and here i'm just trying to enjoy my caribbean vacation it is full work by the way there, there are no half works you're just you've i been keep saying that. i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> uh that's just what the it. other orcs called them <laughs> Decades of experience of playing half orcs. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, and bringing up the rear with our cadaverous yet glamorous. <laughs> I am Jake with the again. Defenders of Cobalt. I am uh, playing a, a hacker afflicted with ghoulism named Kaylee. Uh, she tends to spend most of her time online, although recently she has been forced to meander about in the real world where the sun is bright and painful. But at least you have a fashionable parasol. That is true. That is true. Thanks to Marina No Diamonds, no doubt. Right? Yeah. Came off an art exhibit, I'm sure. It was. That's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So last time, guys, uh, you spent the entirety of the adventure on a submarine owned by the Black Eagle, Black Eagle... Uh, Extreme Response Co Company. And they deal in bodyguarding and a few other things, including uh, international war. Um, you know, so you can see by the flyers that are posted on the inside of the submarine. Um, but some other things happened as well. You learned a little bit more about the infection. Let's call it the infection that you received from the drugs, uh, which brought about uh, an astral intrusion to two of you. Uh, so what do you guys remember? What happened? I my body got spirit hacked. Um, my body got spirit punched. Yeah, I was trying to get Gantu's attention, 
So I had to do some spirit punching. So you get Gantu's attention by punching me? Yeah. It was successful, wasn't it? Yeah. (laughs) It did work. It got the job done. Got it. Got the job done. I mean, really, you can't uh, argue with the results, really. Emotionally and physically, it hurt. <laughs> I remember we found out that we're both really good at coming up with secret code words. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> yes. It just it wasn't oh. supposed to be the same for both. I know. That's why we're both so good at it. Uh, we fair. also found out that the service on the sub was substandard. Yes. They have a lot of soy. A lot of soy. Substandard. Mm, yeah. yeah. It wasn't really funny like two weeks I'm ago. I'm gonna make the joke weird. as it's long weird. as we're it's... on the sub. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, you know, several weeks later it's it's still not funny. It's, still it's what my character funny. would do. <laughs> right. Well let's uh let's get everyone uh back together at the end of the session. You had come up with an idea of sorts. Of sorts. Anybody remember what their plan right. of action was? I think we were didn't, didn't we like land on an island or something? Or they were like like we were in disembarking on an island. Like one of them, I think it was a private island mm-hmm. for uh is it Shawasi? Is it Shawasi? Yeah, Shawasi yeah. Corp people. And we were basically gonna try to uh sell some info, I think is is kind of wasn't that what it was gonna be? Like we were Yeah, about uh yeah. was it Aries? Was it that direction or was it the other? Or was it the opposite? Uh, it might be the opposite way. Yeah, yeah we yeah, went onto yes. an island owned by Ares to try and sell information about Shiawasi <laughs> doing, doing uh, yeah, doing bad things, children hacking to try and get information. Yeah, and speaking of child hacking, uh, you were also able to find a name, a name of one of these young punks uh, that's had a few run-ins with the law, but happens to be a child of someone that is in area security. Uh, one Quentin Clinton Conley. Conley. Clinton right. Conley, yeah. Yep, Clinton Conley. Um, so you had dug up information on that. Uh, you know, uh, he resides on this island. Uh, the island does have... A docking area where they take in supplies, they do some trade and commerce, but it is a private island. You know going into this that you're not going to be able to go very far into the island, likely not more than just the piers and whatever businesses are ran there. Uh, You were warned about this by Black Eagle, but um, yeah, they agreed to take you there. Uh, They're going to continue to watch over the judge until he needs to make his court appearances, uh, which honestly is all virtual uh, these days, so they're just going to keep him under a lid and make sure he doesn't get offed. Right, because they were trying to off him to get a better judge for yeah. all these kids. Yeah. That is what it looks like. So we'll take it up there with the uh, submarine. Uh, it doesn't actually breach at the docks, just offshore, and uh, they bring you out in a little motorboat uh, right up to the pier. And the pier is definitely lined with all of the businesses that would uh, cater to uh, visitors, newcomers to the island. I mean, there are a couple of like hotels that you can rent by the hour, um, as well as a few are longer stay ones for merchants. All kinds of little shanties and shacks and uh, carts set up to sell just trinkets and knickknacks from the islands hereabout. A lot of Shell necklaces, some local art, and lots and lots and lots of drugs. Legal drugs piled high (laughs) on many of the carts, uh, including a lot of the local favorites that are beverages, uh, that are cigarettes, uh, things like that. Uh, But as you dock, uh, Black Eagle just brings you right up to the berth. Uh, They wish you good luck. Uh, They do leave you with a PAN number in case you ever wish to... uh, well, hire them or perhaps be recruited at another time. Uh, they don't think really badly of you. I mean, you've you've done some professional things since they've been around. <laughs> I am quite charming. Yeah, oh. you. Yeah, charming. Make sure to get my gear out of. You the get all box. your gear back. They make sure that you don't leave anything behind. Um, they sweep you down one more time just to make sure there weren't any bugs uh, that were missed. Uh, everything is clean. Uh, so there you are. You are on a pier. Um, 
lots of festivities going on. The sound of steel drums being piped over uh, various sound systems here and there. Uh, apparently there is a beverage company uh, with new extreme jolt cola that they're giving samples out to everybody. I'll take a sample. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, if it's free, it is I'll, free. I'll take two. A paper cup. Uh, as you walk into the vicinity, a vicinity, of course, your pan is scanned and your cell phone blows up with all kinds of advertisements and information mm. about the soda. <laughs> I don't notice a difference. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Your, soul, your, your pan might Same scream. thing's always buzzing. I don't know why. <laughs> he leaves it open with 272 notifications yeah. and 400 <laughs> tabs yes. on his mobile browser. <laughs> Uh, you can see in the distance, uh, maybe uh, not more than uh, you know half a mile or so off, that the rest of the island is got a very large security wall, uh, fencing, whole thing, watchtowers with uh, you know, machine guns emplacements. I mean, after all, Ares does sell armaments. It's what they're known for. You can tell that they're in the central part of the island that there's uh, several um, sky rises and what looks to be an airport. Uh, but that is all sealed away from you guys in the distance. So as soon as you set foot um, on the pier, there are people that, you know, begging you over to sample their wares, to buy uh, local foods, local art, local people, uh, <laughs> all kinds of things. What do you do? So you do have a name and you do have an address. Now getting there is going to be the problem, though. So do we just go up to the security checkpoint and ask to speak to manager and say we have data we wish to sell? Or do we sneak in and get I mean, shot? Sneaking in kind of might send the wrong message in a way. I think so. Just like Plus it's up. illegal, you know, trespassing I mean, and all that. That's a that's a really debatable. Good point. No, Scott, uh, that's a really good point, Scott. That's that's that's, that's oh, fantastic. Well, thank you. Yep. I appreciate Absolutely that. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we could just go with a forward approach. You know, open, honest, clean, collected, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, uh, while you were on the sub, you were in essentially a network dead zone. Now that you're out and about, and the jammers are off, uh, all of your Hands uh, blow up with texts from someone who's been trying to get a hold of you this whole time, Jake. <laughs> oh boy, uh, you were left back at the bar with your new bandmates. <laughs> yeah, you did What's collect a tidy on? fee from that. Oh, good. That's good. Good. I need to plan my revenge accordingly against the bastards who ruined my concert. <laughs> Oh, my with shark parrots shark parrots <laughs> parrots <laughs> so who yeah, are these I'll messages have... from jake just jake yeah really? i'll have just sent update question mark 15 <laughs> minutes later update question mark the question mark just gradually later. gets bigger <laughs> with each image until the last yeah. one's just a big question mark with no update <laughs> <laughs> i'll i'll give I'll give a call. Like, hey, we're live. Do you match? Some I, like sorry, say that no. was disrespectful. My bad. Um, yes. So anyway, you have not been uh, eliminated by a security company. That's good. To know. No, they actually they were kind of cool, and they might hire us in the future. It's or we might hire them. Either or. But we're on the private Aries Island at the big party, and we got to go in and sell information to try and clear our names. Outstanding. If you see anything worth hacking into, please plug in your pad. I can do that. That's easy enough. Or I, you know, I can have Scout plug in his pad. Yeah, this whole time you're going to be getting like half-completed messages from me like, hey, we are here. You know, as you're talking, they're just going to be <laughs> notifying you. When in sub, you have sandwich. a message from Scout. Delete. You have a message from Scout. Delete. You <laughs> exactly. And every one of them say, "Hey, warning! Mark message is infected. <laughs> virus. Warning! Message is infected. Yeah. With virus." 
Uh, actually, uh, Jake, if you want to give me uh, some kind of uh, security role there, a hacking role, put that together oh, how you want. Whatever um, combination you've got. Well, let's see here. Now, when you say some kind of hacking, what is it that uh, am I hacking against something or no? It's just something. If, whether or not you something. notice something or not, or whether or not you have set up a particular thing, I'm just going to let the role decide. Okay, um, I'll go with uh, some electronic. Uh, no, let's see. It would be a good program. Exploit the decrypt maybe no um why don't you hmm do you have just a base oh did you take hacker as a profession i did um okay why don't you just run that to start with okay so let's see plus um probably mind on this one it's more of an awareness thing Gosh, I forget uh, it's slash, slash O R E. Right, and then just the number of dice. No D involved. I have a four and a Trump die in hacking. Okay. Uh, and I will make a Trump die a 10. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you got a pair of 10s. That's uh, that's good enough. I mean, you're on the call long enough. Uh, let's. I'm going to say that means that you do have a fairly secure pan. And one of the things your pan does is track where the data is coming from. And you're noticing that the uplink is from a private satellite. It's also telling you that it's being rerouted, which means the information is probably being recorded mm. uh, and then rerouted to you. That's disturbing. Well, in case anybody's listening in on our communications, I believe I'll keep things brief and just say, good luck. Also, oh, also for legal purposes, I do not hack into things. That's, <laughs> I don't know why you would believe me saying that. All right. Yeah. So what do you guys do? Likely your communication is being filtered. This is a private island, so by uh, any means, it's essentially its own nation state. Um, so yeah, apparently everything is rerouted or routed through servers where they just collect all the information for later snooping if they need it. Well, let's go they do will. security. <laughs> yeah, if we're done uh, filling in the. Uh, Okay, well, I guess we're ready, right? Me? I'd say, yeah. All right, so you're just going to walk off into the distance where you start seeing the fence. You don't, like, see anyone around that looks official. Like, there aren't any officers that look like officers anyway. Uh, I'm sure once we get to the gate, someone will stop us. <laughs> All right, you press through the crowd. Uh, a lot of people, again, trying to get your attention, trying to sell you things here and there. Uh, there are some attempts to uh, pick your wallets. Um, this century's version of that, uh, well, I guess kind of like the modern century's version of that is they get close to you with uh, uh, electronic devices that try to access your pans. Of course, all of your pans have been locked down by Kaylee, except for um, <laughs> scouts. And uh, Which means those guys are getting dunked <laughs> on by so much malware. <laughs> Instead they don't pick, want what's in my pan. Instead of picking your, <laughs> your pan's data, they just leave you with a fresh pan out of just mercy. <laughs> God they steal damn it, now I have to download to RAM all over again. Uh, right. So uh, not a few blocks out of this very commercial district, you start seeing um, more solid more professional buildings that aren't just bungalows and lean-tos and uh you know quickly fabricated they're all very squat uh bunker like very you know brutalist sort of architecture some of them have fencing all of them have guards out front pleasantly dressed in shorts and starched white shirts but having you know uh, massive firearms on their sides and lots of calm gear around their head the 
road that you're going through just kind of leads through these squat structures. Um, there aren't any signs up saying don't, you know, no trespassing or anything like that. Uh, but no one is moving from their particular buildings to see what you're doing or to ask if you need help. Um, so, yeah, you're just going down this walkway to the fence in the distance. Yeah. Okay. Keep heading that way. Look for a security gate or something security like that. Security gate. Yeah, booth or something like that. When you do get closer, uh, you do start saying signs that basically say, you know, private property, area secured. Um, please have credentials at, at the ready. Continue on. Yeah. Do it. All right. Do we I'll have get my credentials, credentials at the ready? Yeah, I, I don't yeah, have credentials. That's the question. The ready, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's the question. Uh, so right. a few dune buggies uh, come up over the distance, going over sand dunes and the rocks as they're approaching you. You see each of these. There's three of them coming up on your location. All of them have uh, like uh, hard point mounted machine guns on the back. Uh, all of them trained on you. There's a driver. <laughs> passenger and one person on each of the the machine guns and uh, they get fairly close and bullhorns click on and say state your business please present your identifications for scanning now who actually has a sin like a real system identification number i got a fake one yeah okay uh so two of you pop in the system uh marina uh, yours pops uh, first since it's as legit for this island. It doesn't have to go through too many databases. Uh, Chuck, what is yours? What is yours oh, list as a pro gosh. profession? Uh, profession? Oh, God, what was I? <laughs> oh, it's when we were in Germany. Yeah. Crap, that's been so long ago. I don't have those <laughs> notes anymore. It was right. Garfunkel and Oats or something yes, like that. I, I don't remember either. I think you were in like a, a potter or something yeah. like that. I don't know. I think uh, Gantu was Simon Garfunkel. That was that was, was what my Sim's it. name is. Paul yeah. Oates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so they leave. A couple of people leave the buggies uh, with the guns trained on you. Walk over again. They're wearing these, you know, kind of uh, khaki shorts. Very, you know, very white, very starch, uh, very creased shirts. You know, very looking very professional. Uh, each of them have a badge on. And they've got each of them have rifles slinged up, not pointing at you, uh, wearing dark mirror shades, and they've got some calm suite on their head and ears. Well, that's not very informative, uh, Marina. One of them nods at you. Love your art. Thank you. Um, uh, mind I... telling us what you're doing here? Yes, we want to talk to someone about selling some data. Yeah, we're um, information brokers, let's say. Yes. We have information to broker. It yes. doesn't really bat an eye at this. It's like, well, do you have a contact? I'm not just going to let you into a secured zone without somebody that you already know. No, uh, well, we do have a name and address. Okay. I'll give the kid's name and address. Yeah. Now, he is not so much, you know, the... The contact the more about the, you know who the, the information subject. is yeah. yeah exactly it's relevant to said person yes so if we contacted clinton conley looks he's looking at the pan would he no know idea who you are who we are none no no none at all none at not all. at all hmm. all right well uh seems like you're trying to do a little business here am i right yeah, oh, that is correct. Thing. yeah yeah but, yeah, yeah. But it's it's sensitive, and we're also under surveillance by other groups trying to do bad things to Aries. So that's why we're going about it in a very back door kind of way. Well, oddly or enough, front uh, door in this case. Yeah. This is not the first group that's approached us this way. So we have a very standard procedure to this. Nice. Uh, you have a little business you want to do, and we are business people. So you cut us in for a little bit of the action. We find you a contact that might listen to you. Okay. We have a standard percentage uh, that you're... Uh, 15%. Custom. But Ooh. only if the contact works out for you. Okay. Okay. 15%. Well, I guess we can just short scout a little bit. 
Yeah, I mean, that's where that 15% yeah. is coming from. Yeah, thanks. Well, yeah, of course, great. the dog's not getting paid. We're all on the same page there. Oh, now, that yeah, scout absolutely. still is. <laughs> oh, oh no, my bad. It's my exactly. Bad. That's really, right. I'll tell you, you've really yeah, turned it doesn't make into sense a to solid... You're a solid number two there, Scout. You've really turned into like a really good number two, you know? Yeah, I, I, I knew a little Ivan. bit jealous. I knew yeah. Ivan was kind of slacking. Like, he only knows two spells. I try. I know three. Come on three now. Three spells. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. We're airing dirty laundry. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, 15%. Uh, okay. Yeah, as long as it works out, of course. Right, of course. You don't make money, we don't make money. Exactly. Simple business transaction. Uh, come on back. Uh, why don't you guys break up? Each of you jump onto one of these dune buggies here. We'll take you to our security center. And uh, we'll see what you have to offer. And we'll see who might be interested. Very cool. I'm definitely going to be pestering my job, my driver uh, about if there are any jobs available, if they're hiring, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. He just At first, he just smiles. And then the smile just slowly fades into the point where... You just see him reach up to his earbuds and you hear like really loud music come up over it. I'm trying Can't to network will. here. You, you can't have too many contacts. Cantu will pester his for like, hey, uh, you guys get to shoot these guns very often? Oh, all the time. The uh, honestly, it's mostly for wild animals. We get pan creatures around here. Uplifted boar. We got nice. odd things that come out of the water every once in a while. Hey, you think everything goes okay and everything? We could like come out and maybe shoot some stuff with that. I always wanted to drive and shoot a dune buggy and stuff. It's been like, you know, on my list. Yeah, we can make that happen. Just for fun. Yeah. We got yeah, kind of okay. a visitor's thing going on. Sure. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is going great. This is going great. Yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, you, you're brought to one of these very squat, cement, brutalist buildings uh not a lot going on architecturally there marina very secure yeah, looking just, though kind of scrunching her nose a bit at the aesthetic it was like mm. mm -hmm. they have you wait uh and just you know this very small waiting room for just a little bit there's absolutely nothing here that's entertaining there's no music being piped out there's not even potted plants it's <laughs> it feels like the uh the entrance to a jail cell and uh, after just a few minutes, though, the same person who greeted you, um, Daniel, uh, comes back out. Uh, Danny, as his drinking buddies call him. And he sure hopes that uh, we could have some drinks after all of this and we all make a little bit of commission. Uh, come on this way. It takes you to the back conference room. Um, you know the setup. It looks a lot like an interrogation room. Police office. It's got what's very likely two-way glass up. Um, there's a microphone, well, you know, the, the equivalent of a microphone in the room. Uh, as he comes on, you notice that there is a little thing that says, you know, on air recording, etc. He just reaches up and he just turns it all off. So, uh, what is the nature of the information you have to sell? Well, uh, you don't have to be specific. About, yeah, it's a little, uh, let's just. It's uh, it involves a threat to uh, your organization in the name we gave you in particular. Uh, threat that I, I I would presume you would find um, noteworthy. You know, I imagine you all get tons of threats here and there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, you know, corporate, you know, wars, and, but a very serious one. So, uh, yeah, that so... threat to someone within the family. It's a security threat to a member of the Ares Corporation. Or are you saying it's a security threat to Ares? We have to be very clear about this. Okay. Okay, that's a good... I'm going to look over to... I'm just going to... Uh, family feud moment. I'm going to look over to my team. What's the better way to... It's both. It's both? Oh, okay. It's both. We're going to We're going to go with both. Both. How many well, points do we get for that? Yeah, good both, answer. Come on, good answer. You guys both this in form of corporate espionage by another mega corp. Oh, wait, you have to phrase that as a question. Right. What that's is different, both? That's a different game. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. So it's like okay, so it's a specific threat to a member of the corporation, but in using said threat could then blossom into a much bigger threat to the corporation as a whole. Does that make sense? 
Sure. Yes. Well, uh, that leaves us two avenues. Okay. Uh, All right. So he, one of the walls lights up, turns into uh, you know, a digital board. Uh, so we have a standard fee of uh, reporting anything to Aries that might affect our bottom line. 10,000 new yen, free and clear. Just tell us what you got, what what the threat might be. 10,000 new yen. Now, uh, for a specific threat to one of the individuals that work for the corporation. Now, that's a little trickier. Um, you mentioned, uh, he looks through it, uh, Clinton. Clinton, yeah, he's 18. Uh, quite an arrest record. Um, interesting, interesting. So is a threat against him or his family? Looks like his father is, ooh. I don't even have clearance to know what he does. That's pretty high. Well, well, what is I mean, his what family? Is, Scientists. I, I would argue, yeah, but I would argue it's still both, right? Because a threat to one member of the family can potentially create leverage for additional threats to compound upon the rest of the family. Oh, so it's not I an either like or. We're... You can collect from both. I just feel I like mean, we're, we're, just... we're we're hemming and hawing, we're splitting hairs over things. Leveraging that the here. child in an attempt to you know, extort information from the father. I tell you what, let's make this easy. Uh, you tell me what the overall threat is to Ares and any factual information you might have or can provide that it's a real threat. I'll hand you over 10,000 new yen. Uh, I will then get you in contact with Clinton's father, Doug. Looks like he's on base today. And uh, you might be able to work out something with him. If it's a specific threat to his family. So 10,000 new yen payday. I don't even take my cut out of that. That's just a standing offer from Aries. What do we think? I mean, I'm okay with that. I would like a little more on the table. I think not necessarily maybe financially, but more so, you know, we have made ourselves targets in this stumbling across this information. So maybe some yeah. money, Throw maybe in the some dune kind buggy. of, no, that's no, no, that's no, physical no, no, gains. No, the, well, actually, wait a second. Okay, the dune buggy is very cool. Is and, this the same guy that recognized me? Yes. Okay. Jeff, so what like, are you thinking? Well, I mean, I, I think, uh, like, so if, if outside, uh, like, if we're doing this in character, I feel like Gant Gantu's under the, I think Gantu was going through his mind. It's like, we don't really have another option here. He doesn't want to make it seem like he doesn't have another option. But certainly, you know, we don't have really another option here. So. No. Yeah, um, so. yeah. Marina's going to ask if there's an option for, on top of that, maybe safe transport off the island somewhere else. Oh, uh, uh, she, uh, she mentions is... like that her safety has been a concern and she wants to get out of the area. If it's good pay data, uh, we can give you a safe, secure escort to any other Aries facility. But outside of that, I'm afraid we've got no uh, way to offer that. Uh, how far does the Ares influence go? Just these islands or across seas? Ares or... owns six islands in the chain here, uh, but not a vast amount of territory. These are really just, uh, well, these are research what laboratories. The, what about Detroit? Detroit? We have some locations in Detroit, yes. I always mm. thought Detroit sounded fun. Detroit, like could be Detroit cool. gets cold. Yeah, but it's no big so deal you, compared uh, to home. You are implying that your group is uh, potentially under some kind of threat for knowing this information? Yes, yeah, that's correct. Okay, um, is this all of you? No. We have another party who is Our remaining yes. at this point in remote location. Oh, uh, well, it's probably best uh, if you are seeking a bit of compensation in the form of security that we get everyone involved here. Would you agree? You're not going to kill us, are you? Uh, he looks yeah, actually offended at that. <laughs> Look, we might be known for creating artillery and armaments that kill billions of people. That doesn't make us murderers. No, I wasn't worried about what's your cause of business. I am a very big fan of Aries firearms. I got to tell you, I, you know, I carry an Aries on my person as my personal weapon. But actually, I don't. I have a Firehawk, which is a different. <laughs> well, that's I'm embarrassing. 
I'm going to cover my side piece with my jacket <laughs> so it doesn't show. But it's not so much that, you know, when did you make the guns to kill people? I'm a big fan of that. It's more so, you know, mega corporations are known for doing shady shit in the shadows and like making people disappear. I yeah, and just won't because argue you that would, point, but I... Just because you wouldn't kill us doesn't mean like there's another department that wouldn't try to kill us, you know? That... Oh, that's very true. We have we have several departments that specialize in that. Uh However, uh, Aries, are they hiring? we uh, we typically hey. are very upfront uh, with any intentions that we have. Uh, I fully realize that you've probably dealt with corporations that uh, would like to erase certain assets after being used. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're as a corporation, we're we're uh, we're very aware that um, it's often very useful to have deniable assets uh, and it's also very useful to keep them well paid and very secure uh like building assets words. is uh something that we're very proud of doing now can you trust me absolutely not however um if any deal you want to broker is going to include your safety of yourselves and your team we can't provide any security outside of our facilities we don't have a, um, a license to operate outside of our property that's the extra territoriality thing i understand yeah and the whole building assets thing sounded great it was the erasing assets thing that didn't sound so good what did, i think what he's saying is you know maybe if we sell him this data they give us a little cash they give a safe and secure ride to Detroit, and then they maybe give us jobs in future, and we get more money from them. Always looking for security assets. We're good runners. We do good work. Or get information. Data, cardio. information. That's a different matter. So for that one time we blew up the cask in Germany, that was a little scary. Oh, mm. I mean, haven't caught. I wasn't there for that. I wasn't there for that. That's why I went so well. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, again, I am offering to protect your entirety of your team. If you don't wish to Mm -hmm. take me up on that offer, I understand. No, I... What do you think, Kanto? I mean, we need to get Kaylee back with us. Right, right. Like, I I definitely think we need to get Kaylee here. Are you saying you don't, like, like we're going to to do, like, a timeout? And then we're going to get her here, and then we're going to continue this conversation. He nods. Yeah, okay, we can do that. I don't see anything. <laughs> we can stay within within the campus, right? Of course. Okay, uh, you're yeah, free to wander the building all you want. There's no secure areas here, uh, although it would be impolite to barge in on someone's meeting. Uh, go where you like. Um, there's. You guys have a food court? We do. Uh, through those doors to the left, just follow the arrows on the ground, goes to the canteen. Uh, what information, give me all the information you have on the whereabouts of your team member. Um, if you've got some video or any identifying marks we can use. Oh, it's easy. She's cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. I took a video of her at a concert the other day. She has a I'll start parasol. scrolling through my pan. Okay. <laughs> I'll fork over Kaylee's contact information, pan. Okay. Scout said he had pictures. I, I'll go to the video of the concert, but it's actually just my face. Just <laughs> watching. <laughs> With the shark parrot eating somebody's face in the background. Yeah. Um, it might have might have been better. I mean, I don't want to like tell you your job or nothing. It might be better if like contact with Kaylee to arrange a meeting with you comes from us and not from you. I mean, she knows us and trusts us, but she's suddenly getting, you know, contact well, from random folks for me let me reiterate do you feel that another corporation may be caught may be willing to cause you harm over the information you have yes Uh, i really don't think i think you misunderstood my question my 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 point my point was like instead of us giving you all the information why don't we just call her and didn't we do the talking to arrange the meet didn't she say something about people were listening in to her I think maybe what he's saying that if we call and then she gives all the information, then their evil murder right. team shows up and kills Kaylee. So if sure. they send black ops team to kidnap Kaylee and bring Kaylee here, it's a little, you know, scary for Kaylee at first, but Kaylee will be safer than 
think race about how, against time. Think about how funny it'd be. Scare the crap out of her, and then she's fine because she's safe with her friends, you know? But she thinks she's being kidnapped, and she's alone. Yeah. And Get a strange feeling she really might not forgive us for that kind of thing. How about this? When you go to pick up Kayla, you take Scout with you, so that way... Oh no, they killed the team but left the dog, the monsters! <laughs> <laughs> we'll also need you to pick up my dog. The dog. Okay. It's very vital to the team. Of course. Oh, I thought we had the dog. No, <laughs> don't have the dog. We left the dog at Bungalow. I'll go with the SWAT team to pick up Kaylee. All right. Spec Ops. Make sure you get Scout, too. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. <laughs> right. So, uh,. You guys are, they'll, they take Scout, um, and you guys are left to wander about. Uh, if you follow the arrows on the floor, they have a very nice canteen. Of, uh, it's real food. It's local uh, seafood mostly, but uh, it's all fresh. They've got cooks preparing everything there. I mean, they got your basic uh, junk food as well, but it's good canteen. Um, there aren't many rooms here. This facility looks like it's uh, mostly used for having... Uh, conferences and meetings with different work groups, that sort of thing. Uh, but no one stops you if you poke around. There's nothing that says off limits. There's nothing that's even locked, really. All the doors will open uh, if you, you know, step into them, open the doors. Nothing's locked. Uh, all the staff, though, are very well armed. Very. Mm. <laughs> I want to, like, find someone like, hey, um, Where's the armory? Oh, you stash somebody? Yeah. Oh, well, we're all personally uh, armed, and uh, this building doesn't have one, of course. This is uh, just one of our you know, conversational facilities. And this, people come here to you know, do team meetings, uh, that sort of thing. Um, is there a reason you need an armory? Uh, yes. I, I mean, we've got have. a shooting range out back if you just want to, you know, get some practice in. No, that would be fun. No, specifically, I feel rather silly asking this, and I've never had the chance to, but I've got this silly Ruger Firehawk, and I was wondering maybe if I could, you know, trade it in at your armory, and you guys give me an Aries gun, because they're way better. Oh, we've got some samples. Oh, I would love one. <laughs> he, he takes you off as you talk guns. So we're going to do a cut scene uh, as... Uh, Wherever you happen to be, Kaylee, uh, a strike force descends upon you, blowing the roof off <laughs> the facility, rappelling down with uh, gas and strobe lights, uh, where you're quickly uh, swaddled in a, a cloth that keeps you from moving. Somebody brings down the cocoon form, the cocooned form of. Uh, Oh, Scout, <laughs> he's he's completely wrapped up except for his, fa his face, and there's like a piece of masking tape over it. Where they just I rip it, they just rip the masking him. tape off so you can say a few words to Kaylee. <laughs> oh, I'm in the cocoon. I thought you were talking about that. <laughs> no, the, somebody is carrying you, cocooned up, except for your face, which just has like a, a piece of masking tape slapped over it, and they rip it off so you can say a word or two to Kaylee, who is uh, surrounded by a strike force of people shining uh, the, the you know the red dot and lights into her eyes, uh, the the roof of the coffee house perhaps that she was in has been blown open uh and there's a helicopter out there <laughs> right above did i willingly go in the cocoon like am I no i'm okay sure i'm sure this? somebody so several people manhandled you and just wrapped you up just because it was more convenient <laughs> but if someone manhandled me and put me in a cocoon i'd definitely be saying like kaylee run <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somebody does tell you, uh, we're here from your group to secure your personages. We understand that uh, there may be a group, groups, or uh, several ill actors uh, wishing you harm, Miss Kaylee. <laughs> all the while, all the uh, the people that were also here are just running, screaming away. Some of them are being gunned down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was already well, worried about erasing the assets. Well, um, I suppose since I haven't been shot, uh, I'll just grab my things 
Uh, there's a dog too. Oh yes, there is a dog. Leave the dog. I'm just a man. Same scene repeats with the dog as the Bill Villa's room gets blown <laughs> open, rappels come down. <laughs> Just imagine she was like having like breakfast the day after the concert with her bandmates, and they just gunned down the entire <laughs> band except her. <laughs> just murked them, and then we're like, "Come with me if you want to live." No, they they only shoot at people that start shooting at them. That's all. Oh, okay. They're not just gunning down <laughs> civilians for the heck of it, but they are suppressing those who are offering <laughs> violence. Well, I mean, maybe maybe the band isn't uh, the most reputable of individuals. Don't worry, they're rubber bullets. Well, that sure takes a lot of the worry out of it, I guess. <laughs> so you were very, well, it was very nice knowing you, Scout. <laughs> extracted you and your dog <laughs> and uh, brought back to Ares Island. Uh, so less than two hours later, a uh, very shaken up Kaylee and probably a very shaken up Scout 2 <laughs> are dropped back off. Uh, Scout one has been given a, a bone of some animal and is quite content. Yes. That is excellent. So everyone's together. <laughs> Scared to death, but together. Okay. I'm very bitter about this. They're definitely yeah, going to erase us. They promised that they weren't going to kill us all. Well, they said they yeah. probably weren't going to kill us all. Yeah. They're definitely going to erase us. When you say kill us all, do you mean they definitely will kill some of us? They all are, um, Scout. Some of us may die, <laughs> but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Right. So how much um, detail do you want right now? Gone to? Uh, are you doing anything during the two hours that this is all happening? No. Uh. No, I think he's just going to find a quiet corner and just uh, be like, well, if they uh, if they don't kill Kaylee, I, I think Kaylee might kill us uh, for giving them all of her information like that. But all right, okay, no, no, you know, you know, got to break a few eggs, make an omelet. And as he just talks to himself in the corner by like a soda machine or something. Uh, Marina's just gonna do like an informal meet and greet with anybody on base that notices her. Just kind of sign autographs, take pictures. Just, You're you know. well known amongst the island, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Several of the security uh, personnel do know you. They come in, have an arm. You know they uh, they they have an impromptu art fair where they give you. Uh, you just decorate this wall however you want. <laughs> oh, perfect. I take a banana and I duct tape it to the wall and I put an empty frame around it. And I just, <laughs> that's it. I just like explain how it's like symbolic of capitalist society taking what was once organic and making it man made. Nice. It's really deep. <laughs> Ivan comes back with a. Uh... Uh, handgun that's not on the market yet. It's a beta. <laughs> Love it. It's the Aries Predator Six. Actually, I've got two. I toss one again to. <laughs> oh, look what they gave us. <laughs> Goes off like five times. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't throw these things. What the hell, man? I'm just so excited. Actually, you, you know, do because we, they can only be can fired this? by their owners. It's. Uh... <laughs> yeah, these are ours. They said that it was free samples. You did have to okay. see, uh, sign the legal disclaimer saying that uh, the gun may uh, cause premature balding, uh, the loss of teeth, and uh, a few other things. But other than that, it, it's, it's completely free. So you're back in the conference room again with Daniel, uh, who you know, has brought a nice little coffee service with him this time, uh, some pastries uh, for everybody. Uh, Kaylee, uh, they knowing about your condition, apparently you're given like a little bento box that has nice filleted flesh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was very tempted to just make a mess of things, but you know, I suppose I'll, it has been a while. I'll nibble down. I feed it to you in an artistic manner. Like I'm feeding you grapes. I will. I'll I'll hold up a finger, and then I'll stand. I'll lean over to Ivan. 
reach over to his plate of goodies and just turn it upside down. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit back down. This daily should have frosting on top. It's ruined now. <laughs> Meanwhile, the frosting is on the bottom. Meanwhile, Scout has to have been, he had to be cut out of his uh, tape cocoon, and he's missing all the hair around his lips and mouth. <laughs> oh, we couldn't leave him in the cocoon? Can we just tell them, like, don't cut it. Don't cut it yet. I'm telling you, they're going to erase us. <laughs> uh, so over coffee, uh, Daniel's like, so um, what is the pay data you have? You want to go down to or you want me to? Right. So, you know, team effort, right? So, uh, did it involve Shawasi Corp and, well, I mean, more specifically, it involves a, uh, a, a drug, uh, that is being used to create, uh, puppets. Is that puppets, Ivan? Is puppets the right term? They're creating, uh, flea spirits spirits right and this drug that the it's a mushroom type thing that the kids are taking yeah infest them and takes over their bodies and then they can control them and use them yeah yeah we All found right. that we can remove it by uh, astral projection, but uh, it's so tell you what, pretty formidable. Uh, why don't you guys collectively make me a sales pitch? So who is leading the talk? Gantu. Gantu. Oh, yeah. All right. So Gantu, uh, you can yeah. use mind uh, as a base for just a persuasive argument. You can use command or empathy as well. If you're making this entertaining or trying to speak from authority so you choose the core uh stat that you're going to use let's start with that yeah yeah i mean gantu's he, it's always empathy with him you know mm-hmm. like he's concerned about just what this could do to people and he's really trying to impress upon them the dangers that this uh, uh you know this can this can pose to not just themselves but you know pretty much everybody so empathy would be okay uh, his now, go-to do you have any skills that will go along with that social etiquette? well there's occupation face okay so, uh, we'll use that think... okay that's going to be your starting pool okay okay now ivan is going to chime in now ivan you don't get to use an attribute but do you have a some kind of persuasive skill uh, that you want to chip in with? No. No. Okay. So. Uh, I've got, yeah. All I've got is intimidate. <laughs> you can use think, that. <laughs> I don't think it will help. Oh, good cat, bad cat. Unless you action. and everyone you love want to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Marina, are you going to contribute to this conversation? Yeah. I have either manipulate or social etiquette. Okay. Um, up so to you do. what you're going to do, um, because if you roll badly and you use manipulate, uh, that, that's kind of a, a social ball. etiquette. Okay, I think. social etiquette. How many yeah. dice or how many? What do you have in that? Um, I have an expert die and three dice in social, and then it's an empathy, so that's four more. No, no, no just the skill itself. What do you have? Oh, in just, just the skill, the skill itself. itself. Uh, an expert and three regular. Expert and three regular. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Go ahead and roll those. Uh, uh, Jeff, you just... don't do anything yet. Okay. So the extra dice is beforehand. So let's say lucky number seven. Okay. So you're going to set your expert at a seven. So you got a pair of seven. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write this down. Two sevens. Okay. Uh, Scout, are you going to contribute to this conversation? Uh, no, I'd say that. Uh... I'm still a little upset about being Shanghai uh, when I willingly said I'd go. So I'm probably pouting in a corner. Okay. <laughs> they just found it was the most expedient use for your talents. <laughs> uh, Kaylee, is there anything you want to contribute? Um, as the conversation go, comes around to Kaylee, Kaylee will sort of stroke her chin for a moment and say, mm-hmm. There is one thing. And then she'll reach over to Gantu's plate and turn it upside down. <laughs> Them two, I, I finished that like 10 seconds. He eats very quickly. 
Why are you so oh, mad funny. at us? What did we do? We <laughs> saved your life. It wasn't me. Kaylee, I swear, I was the only one here who was saying we shouldn't do this. Let us contact you. But no, 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 people. Marina just, just starts eating faster. <laughs> 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 okay, Jeff, roll your pull. And what's going to okay. happen here is you've got a pair of sevens as if you had just ro- as if you had rolled two sevens. So you could expand okay, I have that. Eight, I have eight die, mm-hmm. and I also have one expert die. Okay. Uh, so I, can I just say a ten? So I can pair up with Dion's ten, and then roll my. Oh other no no no! Eight. Is you, that how that's going to work? You, or? you only get what Dion matched, so he had a oh, pair okay, of okay, sevens. Okay. So like you could call it a seven, and then you'd have three sevens if you wanted. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll do that for the expert one okay. then, and then I'll just roll my eight. Okay. Oh, look at that, another seven. Yeah, and a ten. Oh, wait, no, that's for that's not And that. three okay, twos. Okay, so yeah, three twos. Okay. All right, now I'm going to roll. Three seven, three two. Okay. Um not only is your argument persuasive, you offer some evidence uh, that they're able to uh, check up on, right? So he listens to what you're having to say, and he grows a little bit more concerned. You see him taking notes on his pan. Uh, after you're done speaking, uh, he pulls a cred chip or, uh, and just puts it on the table. He says, this is for starters. This is $10,000 or 10,000 new yen for offering information that may be useful to security of our corporation. Uh, secondly, you, kindly. I believe that uh, we need to speak to Clinton and his family. Would you be willing to come along offering a first-hand experience as to what's going on here? Are you saying that of the course. boy may have been infected with this drug? Mm, yes. If you yes. bring one of your mages with you, they can view it in the astral. It will show us a tiny green flea attached to the central nervous system. Okay. Uh, well, we do have a battle mage on shift now. Uh, you know, you hear him talk over his pan asking for a Kyle. <clears throat> Pretty soon, uh, yeah, Kyle shows up. He's uh, early 20s. He's rather short. and only about five foot five. He's dressed in fatigues, uh, but he's got a quirky, honest-to-goodness wizard hat on his head. Oh, he's cute. I just say out loud <laughs> as he walks in. He just smiles. <laughs> uh, all right. Are you willing to come along? Uh, if you decide to yeah. go anywhere, pre-negotiate the tra- transportation method because right. these guys are rough. We're more than happy to go with you, but we will be going, you know, the same manner that the rest of you are. We're not going to be going in cocoons or nothing like that. I think, I think we... I think we have earned a bit of a, I mean, I don't want to. You know, oh, I'm, I'm sorry here, you know, that happened. Courtesy. As we'd said earlier, we don't have any extra territorial rights. We simply hired a team to do the job. Uh, we'll downrate them on the uh, pay schedule for your ill treatment. I mean, I'm okay. down for a little shibari. Uh, I, mean... I just know I'm giving y'all a one-star review. That's all I'm saying. Noted. Uh, we're you taking give me free gun. You get five from me. The armored dune buggies over. It's primary means of transportation. No, you don't think there's like a current threat. Uh, if this uh, if this teenager was possessed, uh, does the possession give him any extra powers? He's not registered as being a maze. A mage. Well, uh, he was not decked sure about... out in some magical armor and weaponry. Oh, you don't know that that was Clinton. Well, oh. I don't know. If we, we don't know that they get any extra powers, but they do have a sense of perception, possibly. So I would, I would make sure, like a stealth approach. You know, don't necessarily divulge too much in front of them, that kind of thing. Like get, get the jump on the kid to try to help him before divulging yes. too much. Because as soon as he is made, <laughs> they will know that he is made, and all of your yeah, right, other. Right. Did we give him the list? I assume you gave him any information that you felt was... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it would put the others all at risk instantaneously. Well, uh, reports are that uh, Clinton's father uh, is home now. Mother's still at the lab. Uh, So bringing a full-size strike team in may not be great, but uh, let's let's play this low 
let's play this low key uh, casual. Uh, we'll get three buggies out there. We'll go in a central one. Um, right, right. Um, you hear him on his pan. He seems to be trying to pull in some more mages. Uh, and he kind of looks over to you and says, we don't have a lot of trained battle mages in this installation. I Again, help. I'll mostly research here. Ivan, yeah, Ivan, and, and, and Marina, both exceptional, you know, with okay. the magic stuff. Or yeah, whatever. Ivan knows two whole spells. Three, you dick. Do you really see, gotta see, throw Ivan, me I... under the bus like that? I was hoping I think not the... to do anything. Oh, I, I, okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's interesting. I'm starting to think maybe maybe Scout just doesn't know arithmetic. I think that might be the problem. He doesn't it's know how to count. That's probably it. I mean, I think that might be what that is. Yes, it's the weather down here. It doesn't set. I was. I know arithmetic. I know there are north. squares, there are circles, there are the rhombi. Yep, okay. okay. Can you cut? Is it possible to put him back in the cocoon for <laughs> ever? Uh, he throws up actually an image as you're you're talking amongst yourself uh, on the board, and uh, you're seeing an overhead view of uh, you know there are several homes. They all look about the same. Two story affairs pastel colors uh but they're all built amongst the same floor plan backyard uh privacy fence and it looks like there's some kind of party going on you see a couple of grills uh maybe two dozen people milling around uh they cut the audio on there's lots of steel drum music uh just large cacophony you can see a few dogs running around some people throwing frisbees well it looks like there's a party going on now this uh Shouldn't be fine. Maybe we can show up with uh, just a noise complaint concern. Good idea. Well, if we just do a beard delivery. Well, we were going in this point of authority. So, I mean, I like noise complaint idea. Uh, That's fair. The, the six, the five of us should probably hang back from initial contact. That way you can there's a chance that the they know little us. spirit yeah okay we got like a whole bus to <clears throat> recognize this one so like who the hell yes. is they all spoke yeah. to us in the unison it was very creepy super creepy super don't recommend fair enough which reminds me be very careful because that's a party you never and since this all came from drugs you don't know how many people in that party probably you know m there could be others in that party that took them mushrooms and now they're also you know Comp compromise and so there could be like 40 freaking eight horny should, 18 19 year olds in there just ready to turn into pups should have kyle scouted out first in astral yeah we'll do that uh we can do it on the way uh yeah let's go all right they are hey, can i drive can i drive one of them doom buggies you said there's three right sure I, I, I it's got pretty trained. simple are you uh outfitted for uh oh yeah yeah okay i got trained yeah, yeah i'm good yeah they let you drive Dibs on the gun <laughs> You want to sit, stand in the back with the? Uh... <laughs> they oh, let yeah. you. Yeah, I'm on the to. turret. You're on the turret. Okay, good enough. Uh, so you head out. Valkyrie comes on, and uh, Kyle goes limp after a bit. You know the signs of somebody going astral. I'm gonna also go astral to uh, accompany him. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so you go astral as well. Uh, Kyle in the astral is like a six foot two Vin Diesel replica with, you know, glowing armor on, a big spear, <laughs> glowing <Family>. smile. <laughs> uh, uh, Marina so looks like a magical girl in astral realm, <laughs> just full on Sailor like... Marina, right? Yeah. Uh, so you guys go streaking off to the house. Uh, so you, it's uh, it's not that far of a drive you guys uh heading out uh you can you know after just a few minutes you can hear the block music going on it's it's fairly loud um i'm going to cut back to you in just a second marina uh so as you're going through uh you're all in the well let's see you're split up between two of the dune buggies so uh with kyle here we'll say scouts here and marina's here uh one other person what other person wants to be on this vehicle I'm driving one. You're so driving. Okay. Put, put me wherever you want. Uh, yeah, that works. Well, when you said who so. wants to be on the vehicle with Scout, you really kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That just kind of messed <laughs> everything up. Uh, so Ivan and Kaylee are on a different one. So you're driving around. You see uh, uh, you see Kyle and you see Marina kind of slump over. Uh, 
And then Scout, uh, you're you're being che- you're checking out the artillery. Uh, you know they they told you don't fire it, but they're t- letting you take a look at it. You know it's a oh yeah, I'm swinging material. it around wildly and pew pew. pew Except pew, after pew. a minute, uh, you start you think there's something wrong with the gun. You start smelling like burning meat, and not like the nice kind, like from a barbecue, but like burning flesh. I'll uh, look start over. looking, like yeah. taking it apart, you know, checking in the ammo yeah, you're, box. You're checking the gun out, checking the ammo box. It's really strong. Uh, and Gantu, you start smelling it too. I'm going to look at uh, around the vehicle, look at Kyle, look at uh, look at, uh, at Marina. It's Marina okay. who's in here, right? Yeah, because yeah. they went limp. Like, is anything uh, going on with them? Kyle is just, he's, he's limp, uh, but from what's exposed of his flesh, he's just covered in sweat like his shirt is just soaked with sweat and then he ignites his skin just ripples as the fat beneath the skin is just like a wick uh catching fire and he whoosh, just goes up in this big fireball of flame i kick him out of the d- d- doom <laughs> <as I can. laughs> yeah yeah the body goes flying uh, so and then, uh, is the I'll chair on, on fire? Comms. Like, are we good? Yeah. Do I need to put something out? <laughs> it's smoldering Shoot a little. Shoot the fire, man! Shoot the fire! Uh, and I'll get on comms, and I'll just be like, "Hey, hey problem here, Kyle's just bursting the flames with the wild cow bursting the flames." All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's cut over to Marina. So Marina, you and Kyle are streaking to the event, uh, and you're seeing it in astral. Uh, there are. You see all the astral lights of living beings kind of parting down. You can kind of read their auras to see that they're having a good time. Uh, But then you notice uh, there are a number of spirits here in the astral as well. Guardian spirits. A lot of them. And you get a little too close. Kyle's ahead of you and he seems to trigger something. And what looks every bit like a fire-breathing dragon just unleashes on him. You see his astral form just burn away. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> All right, so like, ding ding. Um, <laughs> one of the other creatures, a spider, uh, attempts to web you uh, before you can go. So this is going to be who goes first, depending on uh, the width of the roll. Uh, so okay. you're trying to get away as fast as possible. So make me a pool around that. It's probably going to be, well, it could be your astral. So you can, you, you do use mind. And then if you have, um, did you ever, did you buy your particular style of magic as a skill? Yes. Okay. I have shaman. Okay. And I also have agile. Um, uh, agile's not going to work because that okay. you're not a physical being. It's a right physical. Now. Okay. Yeah. So I can do my, my shaman and then I have, uh, uh yeah, I, Unless, ch- no, channel's not the same as Astral. Yeah, so Shaman and Mind. Mm-hmm. That, so that's work. seven dice and one expert. So I need multiple matches, right? Uh, you need width. You need the same, uh, same number multiple times because that tells okay. you who goes first. All right. Um, lucky number seven. Yeah, lucky number okay, seven. Go for seven. I got two, three fours, and two sevens. Two twos, yeah. So the fours are the, that's as fast as you go, is you've got a width of three. Okay, this one has an expert die, which I'm going to say is a nine. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> that didn't work either. What the heck? Sorry. Hold on, guys. There he goes. Ooh, uh, you are faster. Uh, if you take your okay. fours, uh, you react faster, and uh, it's you know speed of thought. So the webbing doesn't catch you, uh, and you are you know pulled back to your body. You come back with a big inhalation of breath. You smell charred <laughs> flesh right next to you, just as Gontu puts a big booted foot over and kicks uh, the burning Kyle out of the car. Yeah. Uh, we got a whole bunch of spiritual, like, monster guardians. A a whole bunch of them. He just got fried by a dragon, dude. A dragon. Do you know how many dragons I see? 
on a regular basis? One, that one. <laughs> Ivan, uh, in the Jeep that you're in or the dude buggy that you're in, uh, you guys hear like a whistling sound, high pitched whistling. Uh, something artillery is coming streaking through the sky at you. Uh, homing I'm going to shoot vehicle. the artillery. Uh, no, this is Chuck's uh, vehicle. You're in a different vehicle. Oh, you okay. Don't, you don't um, see this. I don't want to die. Uh, what do you want to do, Chuck? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fireball the damn thing. You're gonna fireball the incoming artillery. That's not a bad idea. So your yeah. gunner on the back is going to try and shoot it out of the sky. Uh, Kaylee, you're on this vehicle too. Do you want to try and do anything? Kaylee will just sit there morose. <laughs> this is not how I intended to die. <laughs> right. Uh, the driver is going to uh, attempt to outrun it. If you guys can knock it out of the sky or deter its course, it's going to try and just speed up and get out of the trajectory. So everybody roll, make your pulls. Uh, Kaylee, you if you're just basically covering, uh, you don't roll anything just yet. Uh, so here's your driver. threes uh that's pretty good and here's the missile okay uh the driver just puts foot to the metal and the the dune buggy jumps uh, ahead uh, unfortunately you see the missile is tracking uh the best the missile did was pairs how did you do chuck two sevens two sevens uh well sevens are better than its fours but it's still going to be the same time and Kaylee's oh the gunner let's see how the gunner does ooh there we go mm -hmm. uh okay so with a force of 8 uh it's close the gunner is able to trigger off the warhead before it hits the driver is able to get out of the immediate path but then uh it strikes the ground it explodes a little bit um Back at the other vehicle, uh, Jeff, now while you weren't hit by this explosive coming in, it is going to force you to try and keep control of your vehicle. So make you a pool if you've got any kind of vehicular skill. <laughs> I do indeed. Yeah, I got, I got drive slash pilot. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and this is probably a physical uh, stat, either coordination, coordination or body, either yeah. one, if you wanted to strong arm that wheel. Uh, and... Okay. For Scout, uh, why don't you try to not be thrown off the vehicle as it's now about to make a very hard... Um... If I get extra successes, can I try to throw him off the vehicle? <laughs> it makes it harder I for him to I do want it to on. be known that I believe in safety first and I always wear my seatbelt. Uh, well, Where there is a gun? tether. So you don't, you're don't. you standing behind the artillery gun, but there is a tether that, that you're attached to, which might be worse. Can we do a Blades in the Dark style flashback to Gantu <laughs> severing that tether? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Three sevens and two nines there. Three sevens, two nines. Okay. All right. I'm going to just roll just a, a base difficulty. So you keep control of the car just fine. Um, it banks hard. And how did you do, Steven? Uh, I didn't know what to roll for that. Uh, it's going it to be a physical athletics? attribute. It could be athletics. It could be, uh, well, that's the skill. So it could be body or coordination. For the... uh, I've got six in body and three in athletics. Okay. That's a pool of so nine. That'd be nine. Yeah, that's yeah. nine dice. Go ahead and roll it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, yeah, you hold on like a champ. <laughs> You're, you just surf the vehicle. It's not a problem at all. All that donut weight gives me a low center of gravity. All right. Uh, so you've got a battle mage down, dead. Uh, that was a uh, air to ground missile that was just fired from somewhere. What do you guys do? You got just a, a break here. You can see the block party just, just a little off into the distance. You're very close to the house. I mean, so are, the, and we're all, are we on comms together? Yeah, you're all on comms. Yeah. Okay. So, 
I'll just turn to my driver. Now, listen, we've informed you. You've paid us. You can follow up. Can you just stick us on the plane to Detroit now? <laughs> this sounds like a whole other you problem. All right. Uh, that's what I'm giving everybody an action before more shit happens. Uh, Gontu, what are you doing? Uh, well, I think Gontu, seeing that one of the two mages in the coach just spontaneously combusted, and the other one, Marina came out and warned him, will retreat at this point. We'll back up. Like, I think we need to regroup, get the hell out of here a little bit and rethink this. And so I will try to turn around and backtrack. <laughs> All right. Steven? I'll be readying the gun for any more artillery. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Kaylee? Um, is Kyle still on board? No, he's on the ground. He's he's his body is uh, he's basically been rendered down to just bone. Uh, all the fat in his body is just burned off. Make a quick stop by Kyle before we leave. <laughs> it's like a Whataburger now. Yes, yeah, right. It's roadside <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Tear off an arm. Uh, good enough. So. Uh, what's going to happen next is from the sky, uh, from a dirigible that has certain fibers on it that make it nearly invisible in the sky, uh, several harpoons uh, with joists are being shot down uh, at your cars to spear them, haul them up, um, becomes visible as these things fire from the sky, and uh, you are being raided by, <laughs> guess who? Uh, and his sky pirates. This is the part that nobody really explained, is that a certain gingerbread man mm -hmm. had sky pirates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never thought to look up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, actions then, Jeff. Uh, you were trying to wheel the car around and get out. Uh, yeah. So just put me a pool together for that. Chuck Ivan's suggestion was uh, heard and responded to, so your driver's doing much the same, trying to get you out of this situation. And as you said, Stephen, uh, Scout wasn't necessarily looking up. <laughs> I, well, I was looking for our artillery. Okay, uh, you would be looking into the sky? All right, good enough. I tell you what, why don't you make me uh, would pass for a notice roll? So it would be sense, and then if you've got a skill for uh, perception, seeing, scrutiny, anything like that. Uh, can I summon a creature to protect the car? Uh, yeah, uh, you don't know what you're being protected against at this moment, but yeah, right. that would be something you can do. Yeah, I just want to put like a shield around the car or something, like just keep it protected from sure. anything. Go ahead and give me a summoning roll for that. So it'd be okay. We're summoning. That's okay, and then plus mind, right? Yes, or... right. Okay, so it's a trump. Well, depend, how did you right buy now. the skill? Is it useful? Um, it's it's a magic. Yeah, it's a useful attack yeah. and a defense. Okay, I have yes. all three. Yeah. Okay. Go so I'm going to do a defend and magic, right? Mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. So eight and a trump. All right. Let's see what happens. And the trump die is going to go on that 10. <clears throat> okay. I also had a trump die, so I've got three sevens. And that roll was the sky pirates. And Chuck, this next roll is your driver. Okay, this is going to be fun. So, does anybody have a with greater than three? Uh, greater than three? No. Right. Do you have equal to three? Yes, I have three tens. <clears throat> and I have three sevens. Hmm. Okay. So, I've got two sets of three. He's going to use one of his sets to break down Chuck's driver's set <clears throat> so that it's no longer a three. Uh, he'll use his threes to break out those two. So the way that works is, so I've got two sets of three. There are some other people with threes, but this guy's got two sets. So he would go first. Um, well, he's not going to go first, but he's going to use one of his sets to make some of you guys not have threes. Um, so the height of the die means that if he can reduce someone else's set. So Chuck's driver has three twos. So... 
the Skyer Pirates with the three threes. The threes are bigger than the twos, so he negates Chuck's driver uh, from being able to act. Uh, now, he cannot remove anyone else's action. Well, he could, actually. Um, he is going to remove his other set. Well, you said you got a three tens, Dion? Yeah. Okay, he can't do anything about that. And Steven, you have three what? Sevens. Okay, he can't do anything about that then. Okay, so the three tens would go next then, Dion. Uh, you summoned an elemental. You ha can give it two commands with a force 10 and a force 4. And you said you have it as useful, attack, and defend? Yeah, I have all three. Okay, then what do you want? What are its two commands? You can give them one um, at a time. I'm going to do... The tens are going to be defense. I just okay. want to keep like sure. a really powerful shield on us. Okay. And then the fours uh it's a pair of fours it's not going to do much against those nines but i'm going to say can i do like a useful and give us like a speed boost yes absolutely all right so this is going to be like this is going to just appear as like a bunch of like fey type spirits mm -hmm. and just like circle circling the car and a bunch are going to be like centered around the back pushing it forward more okay because magic <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Steven, you got three sevens? Correct. Uh, what were you doing? You were actually looking. So you see the yeah, threat. Yeah, that was a scrutiny. You see the threat as it's, uh, <clears throat> it's shielding kind of shimmers away as it deploys uh, these harpoon guns that come down from the side. So now you can see this huge dirigible in the air above you uh, and it's deploying weapons. Uh, do I have a chance to act now? Uh, well, do you have any, you have a, do you have any other sets? You got a pair of threes? Yes. So that would be your next action is at a pair in threes. That would just be me using that to just unload the turret. Right. But other, they go before you because they still have three ones to take care of. So the three ones are going to be, uh, to harpoon the vehicle that Ivan and Kaylee are in. So those go to that. Um, it's a hit, but it's only a power of one. So your vehicle is struck. Some damage is done to it, but it's not a good enough hit to secure the car. Uh, so like it just basically rips through like a bumper, uh, tearing the bumper off, but not impaling your car. So it, you're not going to be drawn into the sky. So next it has a pair of nines, which is still faster than your threes, Steven. Uh, it's pair of nines will be used to, well, how did you do Jeff? Did you get tens? Uh, no, I had three pairs, eight sevens and twos. Okay. Uh, so it's pair of nines then is going to be used to shoot the other vehicle. That would be gone to's vehicle. Uh, the nine is solid enough. So there's a harpoon tang that comes through, goes right through the passenger side where, Kyle's body was goes through the vehicle and you can hear the prongs spread out. And so your vehicle is hooked. Oh, that's our does, vehicle. That's your vehicle. Does Marina, does Marina have a shield around us or something? Yeah. Um, that's good. right. What is your shield? A 10? It was a 10. And I also had a speed boost of four. Yeah. The speed boost wouldn't come into effect yet, but the armor huh. certainly does. So tens are better than nine. So yeah. So it would have done that. Uh, your shielding elemental makes it just, bop off um so it's going to drop it so you've only got one more use of that so you had two tens one of those tens is going to be used to drop down that okay. attack uh, right. so you've got one more blow that it can take uh now i guess gone to you had pairs of higher than seven yeah at eights and okay, i had so, sevens okay so eights yeah. do your eights first um your car is free okay so uh i mean Basically, I'm looking for retreat and sort of drive evasively is kind of, I guess, what I'm, what I'm after here. Sure. Like I have eights, I have sevens. So I'm just trying to retreat, uh, taking the acceleration at Marina's uh, Fey assistance as help, but also try to also, also try to drive evasively now that I've seen like there's harpoons raining. raining sure, and you're going to do that with your eight. So uh, eight's pretty yeah. good for that. Uh, you, I would say you would need a five. Eight's perfectly fine. So you... And the car is just hauling much faster than you expected it would. 
uh, getting mm-hmm. a little boost from the elemental. So you are you go hauling off. Now, Steven's sevens, uh, what do you do with your sevens? Uh, no, my sevens became triplets, so I already used those. Oh, okay. So I've just got the pair of threes You now. just got the pair of threes. So it means, uh, Jeff, to your other sevens. Do you want to do anything with those? Um, I think what I'll try to do is like make a hard turn to like kind of drift and try to run, try to drive now like perpendicular to wherever their ships above are kind of moving. So if sure. they're moving like northwardly, I'm going to cut us like <clears throat> westwardly. So we're going perpendicular now. Okay. You just hear a thump in the back as Marina flies across <laughs> to the other side and just slams against the like, Son Chuck, of a bitch! Chuck, did you get any matches at all for your fireball? Uh, oh, that oh, no, was wait, last no, that was time. Last time. You didn't yeah. do anything this time. Um, no, I was just pestering the driver to take us to the Oh, airport. yeah, that's right. Yeah, so your driver yeah. did take off, and you're you're okay with that. Uh, so, Steven, what are you doing with your threes? Uh, if I can, I'd be shooting. Sure. Uh, yeah, threes are ineffective though. Um, it's mostly, I'm going to say with the threes is you're, you can't get enough elevation on your gun. It just really wasn't made to shoot basically straight up as you get further away, you'll be able to, you'll be able to get that elevation as you get further from it though. Drive faster. (sighs) Yep. Uh, it has used all of it. Uh, so the only thing left is the twos from Jeff. Do you want to do anything with those? Uh, I will wildly fire into the air straight up. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. The, the twos are just ineffective, but sure, you do that. Yeah, oh yeah, but it looks cool, which All right. is really what matters. So we've got Does two. It really? We've got two fleeing dune buggies. One going much faster than the other. You've got this floating dirigible in the air that's coming into view now, and you can see gun ports are opening up. You can see. A lot of orcs, uh, a few trolls, all dressed up in, like, pirate regalia. And they've got, like, uh, grappling hooks that they're leaning over the side. It looks like they're going to rappel down to you as this thing is getting a little closer. And these gun ports are opening up, kind of like cannon ports on the side of this thing. Uh, And then from the party, uh, well, actually, nobody's astral right now. You don't know what's going on with that. (laughs) But that's the setup. Uh, you've got these sky pirates coming down on you. You're trying to flee away. Um, they'll just take it from the top. Chuck, you, everyone sees them now. So, Chuck, what do you want to do? Fireball. You want a fireball? Um, what's your range? How much range did you buy on oh, that? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Fireball. It's, I just got it listed as attack ranged. Okay, so it's 50 a... feet, so it's outside of your range for, oh, yeah. Sucks. Unless you bought more range, it's 50 I feet. I did not. Yep. So you can wait uh, until they come closer, or you can do something else. I got that new Ares Predator. <laughs> take six. some shots. Okay, that's take fine. Take some pot shots. Take some pot shots. Uh, Marina, what are you doing? Uh, can I summon more? Can I have? Do you have the willpower summed? for it? If you do, oh you yeah, can. I got plenty of willpower. Okay. Um, I got like seven more of that. Yeah, I'm gonna do another summon. I'm just gonna be summoning stuff left and right to make sure we're safe. Sure. I guess it. Yeah. All right. So. Um, uh, Jeff. Uh, continuing to drive evasively, but also have the gun at the ready to. Uh, and I, I guess he's getting ready in case we get hooked to just shoot a harpoon to see if he can like oh, wow. yeah. attach it. You know sure. what I mean? Just yeah. have that ready to go. That's something you can do if you get multiple okay. matches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Jake, what's, what are you doing? I'm just going to record everything on my pan. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get every, all, everything recorded. You get a great shot of the sky ship. You're going to get tons in. of views on YouTube. You are. Oh, you absolutely. So many mm-hmm. views. Uh, and what's the best scout going to be doing? <laughs> uh, would I be able to use the turret at this point? Like, have we gotten enough of I an angle? I think it's fair to say you would because of the extra speed boost, so you could shoot the artillery. Yeah, I'd be shooting... Uh, if there are any guns pointed at us, I'd be shooting at those. Otherwise, I'll be shooting at the guys that are poised to drop down. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fair. All right, you guys assemble your pools. You go right ahead. Um, I am going to roll one pool for my guys that are coming off the dirigible, uh, trying to board you. And I'm going to roll another for their artillery people. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to just combine this and have them do multiple actions if they get multiple sets. 
Uh, I'm gonna have a triple seven and a triple ten. Nice. Okay. So so far I've heard triple tens as being the highest. Yeah. My I have two tens minus. and a triple one. Triple eight's my highest triple, and okay. I have a pair of sevens. Uh, so um, your creature is summoned. Uh, you said you had three matches? Yeah, I had three tens and three sevens, so two. Two matches. Okay, again, yeah. two commands uh, with a force of seven and a force of ten. What's your first yeah. command? The first command with the ten is going to be um, this, like, this monstrosity of like a, a amalgamation appears and it's just like this mixture of like tortured souls mm -hmm. and it's just going to be like this hyper beam blast up at the dirigible okay so you're going to do an attack with a 10 yeah okay so uh the way this works uh if you uh did you buy it as attack as well you got attack defend attack. and useful but you only yeah. bought attack once I have no. I have the same score for all three of them. I dumped into some. Well, how many? How many points do you have in attack? Uh, in attack, I have three regular and a trump. Okay, that, that's not quite what I meant. So when you buy, oh, attack, defend, and useful, uh, it's how many times did you buy it, or how many levels? Oh, of that just once. You, just once. Okay, I, I bought it just once. Right. With so. This then it only does uh, damage equal to the height of the roll, so it'll do three points of damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, regardless of what the power is, power just tells it how okay. much it can go through armor, so it's going to do three points of damage. Uh, also, what's your body? My body is a number. It's uh, three. Okay, which is exactly as much stun as you took. You've got three unmatched dice, so you're fine. Okay. Okay, so that happens. Uh, that does do some damage. Uh, the, the first command you give the creature, and it was the fastest out of the lot. So mm -hmm. it, that beam happens. You see uh, the dirigible is armored, uh, but you do mm -hmm. see that it did take a direct hit. What is uh, the next? That was three tens. Uh, the, they got three fives is as fast as their next one is. Did anyone else get threes or fours? I got yeah, three I got... sevens. Okay, sorry. And three ones. Three eights. Yeah, I'm at three eights. You're I think at three I'm... eights would go next then, mm -hmm. and so your your action your well, what do you want your first action to be with the eights? Uh, I want to continue to drive evasively. So if that does that is that like would that be better to just try to do something to cancel out one of their sets or like kind of lower their sets? Evasively, you only need a three to okay continue to drive at high speeds and be safe. So you decide how low on your your sets you want to put that. Okay, so I need so wait. You said two. What, what, okay, what so I need for driving basically, say it again. Uh, uh, so you just need three. So like you have a pair of sevens, you could use that for your driving evasively and be fine. Okay, then the, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I mean, there's really nothing I can do. Uh, like I, I just want to save the eights, so I can. Can I just wait with the eights then? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because there's really yeah, nothing no, else no, I, I can do. With it, yeah, right? you can you can hang on <laughs> to them. That's fine. Yeah, I want to hang on to them in case something actually we get a hit or anything like that, or something mm -hmm. falls or whatever. Uh, anyone else get triples below eight? I did a seven. The seven. Okay, that would be your second command for your creature. What's your second command? Double tap. Another. I'm doing another blast. Okay, so three more points of damage. Um, seven still good enough to get through the armor, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, they don't go again till three fives. Did anybody get anything better than three fives left? No. So at three fives, this is when another harpoon is going to come down uh, to Jeff Gontu's vehicle, and you are holding on to those two eights. Uh, Ran, I yeah. had my other ten from last round still. Uh, right. So you could use that up, which would just cause it to bounce off harmlessly in the shield, or yeah. Jeff could use his pair of eights to remove one of those fives so that it would not be successful. What do you want to do? You want to keep the ten or keep the eight? Uh, I mean, I have yeah, I got the set of eights, the three eights. I'll go ahead and use it because there's really nothing else I can okay. use them for. So right. you might as well hang on to the shield. So the fives are not good enough uh, with just two of them. Uh, so those go away. So the next one is three twos. Is anybody got a action better than three twos? All right. This is where this uh, this is where they're just going to try and shoot. Uh, they're going to try and shoot. 
Oh, let's see. They're going to shoot at Ivan's vehicle. Um, three twos. They do uh, force damage. So just two points of damage. Your car has some armor on it. Two points is not enough to hit any of the passengers. So I'm going to put that at a five. So your car takes some damage, but that's it. Uh, down to doubles. Anybody got double tens? I had three ones. Oh, you had three ones. What do you want to do with your ones? Uh, would you I be able shoot. to hit some of the guys ready to rappel down? Uh, yeah, you could shoot. Uh, it would do three points of damage, and you could definitely hit one of the guys with a one. Yeah, that's what I'd like okay, to do. Sure. A anything I could actually destroy. Yeah. Um, okay, so twos would hit a leg. All right, so you hit somebody in the leg real bad. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so down to doubles, two tens. Anyone got two tens? I have two tens. You have two tens. What do you want to do with that action? I want to shoot another guy. Uh, okay, two tens. Shoot ten everyone. is a headshot. So two points of damage to somebody in the head. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite so enough to The bullets that went through the guy's leg just goes hit the right the... angle and hit someone else in the head. Two nines, I think, Chuck, that's where you come in with your fireball. Uh, no, my pistol. Your pistol. Okay, uh, so two nines. Uh, nine is... What are you shooting at? Uh, we see the pirate's mm -hmm. ship up there, yeah? I'm just taking pot shots at you it. You take pot shots at the ship. Okay, uh, does a couple points of damage to the ship. Nice. You don't know if it's effective or not, but <clears throat> you do see some armored paddling shatter, so maybe it's done something. Uh, pair of eights, anyone? Pair of sevens? Yeah, uh, that's... I got sevens. Yeah. yeah, they got sevens too. So what are you doing with your sevens? You're going to drive. Continuing to drive, basically. Okay. Yeah. They're a pair of sevens. Uh, people are going to land uh, with sevens. Uh, that's not good enough to get to a vehicle. So they're just basically landing, but they're taking up gun positions. Uh, they've got fairly large rifles. So they're going to start shooting at you from the ground. Sixes, fives, fours. I got twos. Twos. Uh, okay, what do you do with your twos? Still shooting. Okay, um, at the dirigible, right? So a couple yeah. more points of damage into the dirigible. Ones, anybody got ones? Yeah, I Nada. think that's it. So at the end of this round, what we have is Gontu's vehicle is way far away because you're still getting that speed boost uh, from that elemental. Another elemental is there uh, that still has a couple of... Um, Wait, actually, you had it attack, and you had it... What was the second action that you have it do, Dion? I did another attack, and so that attacks. one's gone. Okay, so that's um, gone. I still have defense and the speed. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, so that's that's fine. Your vehicle is in fine shape. It's taking a little small cosmetic damage, but otherwise it's good. Scout's still manning the artillery in the back, getting the hang of this thing, uh, but hanging on well there. Uh, Ivan's vehicle is a little bit more damaged, but still keeping up. But you're far behind gone to at this point. Uh, there's a squad of pirates on the ground. It looks like uh, they've got some pretty heavy duty looking rifles. They're going to start shooting from the ground. And then the dirigible is just basically pacing you in the air. Now, uh, the suck part. <laughs> All right. So everybody that is magically active. All right. So... Nobody would could see this because nobody was astral at the time. So all of you magically... Actually, that's not bad at all, and they did some damage to themselves. Uh, all you magically active people uh, are going to take two points of damage to the head as you've been mana mauled by some things from the astral. Just the guys that are... Oh, actually, this is Kaylee, too, because while you're not magical, you are a dual being your 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 being resides in both the astral and the real world so all three of you guys take two points of stun to the head it's stun okay it's stun okay so i have a and stun two. of five now what's that do in your head uh total i think because i you... took three before from the magic we rested on the ship yeah you rested on the ship you'd be you're those are gone i didn't take stun when i summoned i thought you said i took three stun uh, and your body took care of it. Your body oh. acts like armor. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so everybody should just have two stun to the head, or the three of you should just have two stun to the head. Okay. All right. Well, so you, you now all know Kaylee that goes you, down. <laughs> you all know that you've got some astral beings after you. Kaylee, actually, everybody has four blocks in their head, so you should still uh, be okay. gone. Yeah. 
Okay, so next round, uh, all of you awakened people know that you've got some astral hitchhikers. I'll be going astral trying to hold them off. <laughs> okay, you're going into astral combat, good enough. Um, yeah. Gone to. Uh, you're almost, your vehicle's almost out distance, um, although you suddenly see Marina kind of, just kind of jolt, mm -hmm. uh, it's maybe a little nosebleed happen. Uh, I mean, with, with, I mean, if, if I see that Ivan is, is that far back, I feel like this is like a Ganto will, I mean, he's still driving, but he'll probably do like a defensive, like kind of spin and park. Like, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, scout, what are you doing? I am shooting until I'm out of ammo. Okay. At the ship or at people? Uh, you seem to be Whichever more effective seems more threatening. people. So, yeah, the people then. Okay. Uh, okay. And Dion, what is Kaylee doing? I'm going to go astral. You're going to go astral. And, okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and deal with that. All right. Kaylee. There's not much Kaylee can do in this situation. Just keep recording. Okay. Uh, well, I'll give you something. Uh, Kaylee, uh, your pan is telling you that that ship is actually what has been intercepting your cellular calls. Oh, uh, it actually has a very strong signal as well. Hmm. And yet, um, this isn't an Aries. No, oh, it's not Aries. It? Oh no. <laughs> I see. The people dressed in very colorful pirate uniforms kind of give away the fact that they're not. Aries. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's uh, uh, that's a little terrifying. Anybody else like seriously unimpressed with like Aries's security? Like, I mean, they talk so such much. Game. So much. <laughs> now there's like, clowns the falling out of the sky. What the they hell put is me in a stuff? cocoon for no reason. Ridiculous. We were all nervous for no reason. We could take this whole damn company. That was the company. subcontractors did that to you, Scout. <laughs> <laughs> the company known for blowing every fucking thing up is got the goddamn hostile hey your drivers kept your ass party. alive so far ivan <laughs> <laughs> i mean this is definitely an exception to the rule your driver you're amazing but why he's probably a subcontractor probably <laughs> so kaylee in case um here? yeah i'll try to um let's see uh you can't really scan scan this crypt god what would it be um what do you want to do what would it be to try to out? I'm trying to, I would like to, now that I know that this dirigible is the source of the signal from which uh, our communications were being intercepted, mm -hmm. I'd like to try to um, find some sort of a frequency that I could contact from my pan. Okay, so you want to make contact to the dirigible? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, do you have any kind of like network security skill or do you just have the job of hacker uh, I have some, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I would use to do that. Um, uh, it's, I, I have a few hacking programs. I've got one for just attack. Yeah. I've got a biofeedback filter, which is more defense. Uh, decrypt, no. Well, you have to get into their system first, which would just be a hacking role to start with, and then you could inject software into it. Okay. Yeah, in that case, I'll just uh, go on the attack then. Okay. Uh, you're gonna do okay. So you're gonna hack it from your pan. Yeah. All right. Uh, you probably just hook up your keyboard to it, uh, your cyber deck to it, and do it from there. All right. So everybody, make your pools from what you're trying to do. Go ahead and roll that. And again, I'm just gonna combine what the three different actions that they get is one pool and divide it out. Now, is that something that I would add to my? hacker role or is it just yeah a... it's mine plus hacker okay. to start with all right i'm gonna call lucky number seven Ooh. did anybody get more than four oh matches god. oh my gosh dion i think you just <laughs> knocked too, yourself dion. out yeah i think i did too i got four eights you got four eights all right you go first uh that's pretty mighty uh that's that's four damage uh you're shooting at people uh yeah i'd like to shoot at whatever i can do the most damage to well if you're shooting at people uh you're only going to be able to get at most one or two uh but you could be shooting at the dirigible if you want 
yeah i mean if that's possible yeah it pop is a hole in it. uh yeah you start shooting sparks fly you see uh several plates armored plates are being shot off uh you're not sure if you've gotten through enough of the plating yet but you're definitely doing damage to it that was a lot of damage cool uh cool, so cool. that was four eights you said yes four eights because okay. i had a trump die i have two trump die Next action is at four sevens. And uh, what's going to happen on that? Well, first of all, let's figure this out. Dion, what was your action? Uh, astral. You're, you're going astral, uh, but what were you yeah. going to do once you were astral? Uh, oh, God. I mean, it depends on what I see when I got there. Yeah, so going astral was... is free. So oh, you, okay. you go astral. So I'm, yeah. I may have you re roll that pool if it's not the same. And so you are surrounded by these summoned spirits, much like you do. Uh, but there's also some mages in there. And they, all again, they've got these fairly young looking, like childlike faces. And they're all wearing like really just very bad uh, overlays of like the, the famous video games that are, that are going on right now in the nets, right? These are a bunch of kids. Uh, but you know, uh, they're trying to kill you. <laughs> it's crap, kitties. I thought we were done with them. They have the things controlling them, though. The little worms. No, they don't. Uh oh, Ashley. Then can I try and manipulate? What do you want to? Well, what do you want to do? And then we'll figure out what the pool is. I want to tell them that those pirates are a bunch of cops. They should go mess with them. Tell them the pirates are a bunch of cops. Uh, yeah, and they're like, they're a bunch of undercovers. Go fuck them up. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, go ahead and give me... That pulls probably either command or empathy, uh, plus whatever social skill you might have. Uh, command and manipulate. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll that pull then right. before we go any further. Uh, here's hoping. I got two sevens. <laughs> Okay, so that we'll get to that. That's when that's going to happen. Okay. Uh, so on the four sevens, uh, the people that are... Hmm, all the astral people are going to attack the people that they can attack astrally. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be four points of damage, which is enough to knock um, just about everybody out. Uh, Dion, how much body do you have? Uh, my body is yeah. a three is a three okay actually you just take one more stun so you've got three out of four boxes but you're still up chuck what's your body uh my body is two two you are unconscious you get knocked unconscious by another mana bolt uh, okay kaylee what is your body one one uh you get a knocked unconscious barely even bolt. alive yeah yeah yep uh, all right, so those were at four sevens. How about threes? I've got tens at three. Anyone else? Okay, those are going to be my guys shooting then. Uh, so they're shooting at the vehicles. Actually, they're just shooting at Ivan's vehicle because they can't reach uh, Gontu's. Uh, so they're going to do a bunch of damage to the vehicle. Tens is enough that something major happens to the vehicle. So probably hit a gas tank, something that's slowing the vehicle down. It would eventually cause it to stop. Is my 10 from before able to shift to another vehicle or no? Not, not unless you okay. are conscious to give. Actually, you're unconscious. Your spirits are now gone. Okay. They go okay. away. Um, so that's three tens. Does anybody else have threes below 10? So three I nines? Have three fours. Okay, three fours. Uh, what are you doing with three fours? Shooting the people. Shooting the people. Fours, arms. Okay, yeah, you shoot a bunch of arms. <laughs> uh, you, I'm, I'm not describing how much damage you are doing but you are doing significant damage this piece that cool. you have is an artillery piece so it's got it does mass damage across an area so it's not mm -hmm. like just one person you're hitting you're hitting a bunch of people how many people are there <clears throat> there are is like, a squad of eight on the ground right now and have we taken out a good chunk of you've them taken out more than half of them at this point cool, cool. okay so that was at what was that, that was three fours. Three fours. Okay. So any more threes out there? Three ones, but I'm unconscious. You're unconscious. Okay. Man. Um three ones. Okay, yeah. You're you're just unconscious. Uh so twos, pair of tens, anyone? No. Eights. They've got a no. pair of eights. 
On a pair of eights, they're just going to try and shoot the main gun at Gontu's vehicle. Um, eights going to hit it. Same thing. Your car is hit, uh, and it does enough damage that your vehicle is soon going to be... It, it's basically your engine block or something catastrophic was hit. Uh, so you're starting to slow down, but you're still way away. Uh, was, you just got ship, was shot Marina's by the main shield, gun. Did Marina's shield drop when, yeah, when she went unconscious? Yeah, when she okay. went unconscious. Yep. Okay. It's a pair of eights, pair of sevens. Me. You're unconscious? <laughs> uh, I well, I thought I didn't get knocked out yet because my body. Oh, no, you're not. Un wait. I'm astral. Okay, hold on. I thought we did knock you out. Hold on, let me think for a second. No, you had a high. You've got three out of four. So, mm -hmm. ah, sorry, retcon a bit. Your vehicle's still fine because the last shield from that elemental took the blow. Oh, so gone I thought to, you said that went away because I was astral. Okay, vehicle's fine. Uh, so go ahead, Dion. Uh. I mean, the sevens was the manipulate to try and convince them to okay. go after the pirates. Yeah, they work for the pri pirates, so okay. you do try and talk them down. They pretty much just laugh at you, yeah. uh, and okay. someone does give up that they work with the pirates. They know exactly who they are. All right. Uh, so crap. that's at a pair of sevens. Uh, sixes, fives, fours, threes, twos, nothing. Okay, end of the round. We have two people unconscious but alive. They're breathing. They're just unconscious. Uh, Marina's body is unconscious, but she's astral. Uh, Gontu's vehicle is running. Uh, Ivan, your vehicle is not running. Not that you would care being unconscious. <laughs> the driver is going to run to the back and try and man the gun. So that's how we're starting the top of this round. Uh, what are people doing? Firing madly. Uh, Gantu is going to try to run over as many, like, uh, look for a, a, a closely grouped. So run them over the car. Uh, okay. And try to run them over the car. Sure. That works. Dion? Uh, they can attack me if I even leave Astral. I think I'm just going to go for, like, I'm going to go for gold and try and just do, like, a big summon and just bomb them or something okay um that's fine you can summon another elemental so you guys that are conscious go ahead and make those rules okay so uh the two unconscious people roll d10s just a single d10 not a pool i'm putting my trump die at the eights so i have four eights mm -hmm. Okay, uh, best I've got is two eights. So four eights. Does anybody do better than four eights? Okay, so Dion, you're astral and you're attacking. Is that what you said? Yeah, I want to try and. Is there like an area of effect thing I can do? Not or... Unless you bought one. Uh, uh, no. Oh, actually, okay. you're summoning an elemental, right? Or you're summoning a, a spirit? A, yeah. Okay, so three eights. So you've got four eights four wow four eights uh yeah, what do you want to do what up. what command are you giving it with four eights so attack defend or uh utility attack what do you want it to attack i want it to explode <laughs> what do you what do you want uh, it to explode? the 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 ma magic users themselves i want okay. to try to attack the users of the magic right. so if you wanted to do an area of attack uh you drop a die so that means instead of uh, four eights you get three eights Okay. Okay. Uh, however, uh, three eights uh, astrally, so that all that damage is going to go to the head is more than enough to take them out. Uh, they do have some spiritual armor, but not enough. So you basically you render them unconscious. Their body, their astral forms get pulled back to their bodies. Okay. Okay. So What's you've gotten left rid of those once attacks. I do that. There are a few elementals that disappear once they have lost consciousness. Oh, thank God. Okay. So the elemental, then... the the astral field is clear. At this point. Okay. Can I do anything with those pair of threes? Uh, when that comes up. 
So okay. that was four eights. Anybody else got four of anything? How about threes? I have no threes. Anybody got threes? Nope. Nope. Uh, so twos, I've got two eights. Anybody got better than two eights? No. Nope. All right, so the guys... Uh, I do, actually. I'm sorry. Okay, what do you I have? I couldn't get unmuted. I've got uh, two tens and two nines. Okay, so two Ooh. tens. Uh, what are you shooting at? I'm going to be focusing entirely on the people at right. this point. So what's going on is Gontu is about to run them over, and you're just shooting ahead of Gontu at the people. Uh, so you've got two tens and two nines? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say with the artillery gun, that's enough to uh, mow down a few more people before Gontu runs into them. Uh, so tens, nines, eights. Um, hmm. You guys cured Ivan, right? If I remember right, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, two eights. Yeah. Uh, the remaining guys are going to take a few shots at Gantu's quickly approaching vehicle. Uh, the eights are enough to do it some damage. Uh, no more damage shield going on. So your your vehicle is going to start slowing down at this point. Uh, again, some engine damage there. It's going to stop soon, but you've got enough control to run them over. So that's at eights. How about sevens? Six. Uh, yes, sevens. Sevens. What do you do on the sevens? I'm, I'm shooting all the people. You you kill them all off before Gontu runs them over. Uh, <laughs> sixes. Double tap. That's fine. Fives, fives, they go in and get it. Five. Um, okay, yeah, so something's going on in the background, nothing that affects it, your guys. So that's fives, fours, threes, twos. I have a three. Okay, threes. Okay, threes. What are you yeah. doing, Dion? What that's... can I do in the astral realm right oh, it's, now? Right that? now, the astral is clear, you don't see anything. And I can't, like, switch summons to physical realm when I no. do that, can I? No. No. Can I do, like, can I do that role as, like, a utility to just, like, wake me back up? or? Oh, you can drop out of Astral anytime you want to. Yeah, I'm just going to drop uh, out of Astral. You can hang on to those threes as just another uh, thing you can ask your spirit to do for you later on. You don't have to give the tasks all at once. All right, so, so I'll have him hang around in Astral. Yeah. Twos. Has gone to yeah, barrels to. over the yeah. <laughs> the bodies. Uh, so you're heading towards Ivan's vehicle, we'll say. And then yep. ones? Yeah, I also have ones. Uh, what do you want to do? The last Wait, well, Steven had twos as well. Yeah, oh, I had twos, twos okay. as well. Uh, are there any targets other than the dirigible? Just a dirigible. And again, it's right overhead now since you've kind of caught back up. So you can't shoot right overhead. No, I'll keep shooting the bodies. <laughs> Riddle the bodies. I, I'm not taking dance. my finger off the trigger. Right. I, I've just been shooting full auto. Uh, Imagine one, guns. two ran him over and was like, you missed one. And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. um, if, uh, are we close enough to Ivan's vehicle? Like you said, with yep. the twos, you're, we get to right Ivan's here. vehicle. Yeah. Uh, I will, yeah, with the ones, I would like to try to grab somebody from Ivan's uh, from that vehicle, like Ivan or or Kaylee. Which like one? Whoever. Ivan Shut or up. Kaylee? Uh, is one more accessible than the other? Uh, Kaylee, probably. Then I'll start with that. Yeah. All right. I'll grab Kaylee then. Kaylee, you're awake. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Motion your back with uh, three stun in the head instead of four. That was what the other D10 roll was for. Uh, I'm going to give you an action. What do you want to do? Um. I'm going to look around for my pan, pick it up, and try to finish Go ahead. attacking the... Make, make that right. die roll. And I've also got a trump die to add to this. Okay. So I'm going to make that an eight. Three eights. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, an eight's what I needed to uh, to get through the security. You're in. Hooray. All right. Uh, I'm going to just... Um... Oh, man. Now I'm in the same vehicle as... Uh... Scout. So I'm going to grab Scout's pan, hook it up to mine, and uh, <laughs> everything flood their system. Nice. Oh, that's oh, that that's rough. That's rough. I've got tons of RAM on that. I can get more if you need it. Okay. I'm um, giving them all the RAM. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna drop out of combat for a moment here, um, because they've got nobody else on the ground. You're at a point where they can't shoot directly down on you, nor can you use your artillery to shoot directly up. Uh, you've got a moment to wake up, Ivan. Ivan, you're awake, three stunned to your head, but still awake. 
so you're directly under the shadow of this dirigible. Uh, it doesn't look like they're sending down any more people. Uh, things seem to be a little quiet, uh, and we'll let Kaylee uh, wreck her havoc. Okay, so let's see. How do we want to do this? So you're in uh, with eight. Hmm. Okay, here's how I want to do this. We'll, we'll make this fun. Steven, roll me a single D10. This is how bad your pan really is infected with spyware and everything else. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> roll a pool of 10 dice. <laughs> three eight. Oh my gosh. Three eights. Okay, so I've been downloading all the RAM. Kaylee, <laughs> you are monitoring the systems as you tether Scout's phone to the system, and you see that you know all of that stuff that he's been downloading, all these viruses and trojans and everything else, it just floods their computer system. It does have some automated defenses, but it just overwhelms it. And so from the bottom, you all see that. Something seems to be happening to the dirigible. It starts to list. It starts to kind of go to one side, almost like it's turning over onto its side. And one propeller is going really fast. One's going really slow. So it kind of starts doing donuts in the air. <laughs> what do you guys do? I, th I think we're safe to go to the party now, people. I'm... What about the dragon? Condition yeah, to go to the party there? No. Well, I took out most of the out. mages, but I'm not in a f play any place to fight if anyone else shows up. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, let's get I the area guys. Are all all there's about, an area guy there. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. just like, let's get. Well, neither one of your vehicles are moving <laughs> now. So, he's he's calling for, for backup or has been calling for backup. Uh, to get the civilians out of the area, and they're just calling a full raid down on the place. Yeah, and that's what I said. Yeah. Like, like, man, we're on a freaking Ares base. You yep, that's... sons of bitches better handle this, and we're going to get our asses back and and, and get some some shut eye and some rest here, right. man. We're running a little bit over time, but I wanted uh, I wanted to finish this up. So what ends up happening here is, uh, yeah, he calls in reinforcements because you have uh, crippled the airship. Uh, once they get air reinforcements in they get some choppers down um, some VTOLs they're able to get the thing grounded uh, you flat out killed a couple of the kids Dion <laughs> we just uh, backlash through uh, what you did with them psychically some of, the, some of them are alive uh, so they raid the party um, and they, they one thing I would like to do is I'd like to uh, just copy as many files from their system as I can onto my onto my pan oh well it's already infected now <laughs> <laughs> well yeah but still yeah okay anything that they yeah. might have that i could profit from later <laughs> okay uh fair enough i'll uh, just run an avg <laughs> scan later yeah. yeah uh roll me a d10 okay bing bang boom eight okay uh i will let you know how that turns out so right. they quickly make a bunch of uh base arrests here um you guys, to keep you guys from making any kind of um, reports to the news or for suing or anything like that, uh, they pay you some hush money uh, to kind of keep it out of the press, that sort of thing, to keep it kind. They, th they, they, they word it as compensation uh, for any injuries you might have incurred, uh, you know, 100,000 new yen simple amount of hush money i tell him to throw oh, in one of the new doom buggies yeah i could definitely want one of them they put in a yeah. doom buggy um i, I think like two right scout i think we want laptop. two one for we can yeah, definitely two because i liked having ivan in the other car that was nice right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so they what you end up finding out is uh what it was is was it was the kids uh it was the kids that all sons and daughters of a bunch of research scientists on this Aries uh, facility, and uh, they are bored to tears, uh, but they're very intelligent kids. Some of them were magically active, some of them weren't. They got hooked in through the partying atmosphere with uh, some of the less legitimate people in the area, the pirates, 
Uh, and they cooked up this concoction as the kids that made it. Uh, this drug that allow, at first it was just a way to steal secrets and to sell it. You know, these are a lot of top secret things going on here. Um, the way it works in with Shawasi is, well, this is a vacation area. Uh, some of the Shawasi party kids kind of got in with these party kids and they kind of concocted this together. Like, hey, we know who you need to infect. The Shawasi people had access to some of the drugs to make it happen between the both of them. They created their own little cartel uh, for the drugs, but also used that, leveraged that to get pay data uh, that they'd been selling on the black markets. So, yeah, it was all the kids. Uh, the gingerbread man was ended up being, they purchased his services with all the money they were making. Oh. And you were right from the very beginning that all the amateur attempts on your life were amateur attempts on your life. They, these were like 14 and 16 year olds hiring assassination contracts <laughs> from the Man, best that they That I did not expect. That yeah. is a nice twist. <laughs> so they want to keep all this hush hush. Most of, all of the kids were uh, minors, uh, also with families that have very important security statuses. So, yeah, you guys are, you're paid off to be quiet. And uh, shipping you off to Detroit sounds like a very good thing. Very good thing. There's beaches <laughs> in Detroit where we can race these dune buggies, right? <laughs> yeah. Geography wasn't really Gantu's best subject. Mm, right. So, yeah, I'm bringing this uh, to kind of a quick end here. Uh, I know Dion uh, wanted, uh, is not able to make a lot of these Sundays anymore. Uh, two, honestly, the system is fun, but it's difficult to keep track of everything through uh, a virtual interface. I think it would work a lot better at the table where I can see the dice and move them around. And, you know, um, I'm sure yeah. there are virtual tabletops that would make that easier, but this is not it. This is <laughs> this is not working for me. Uh, so if you guys want to continue, uh, we will pick up the next session with a new rules system. Nice. Uh, Tech Noir is uh, what I'd like to use. Yeah. It's, nice. it's a fun one. To play it's that. a fun one. Yep. So we'll uh, we'll end it there. Chuck, you got anything you wanna? Oh my gosh! Uh, Defenders of Cobalt, Twitch.tv slash Defenders of Cobalt. This Wednesday at 9 p.m. Central, we're going to be kicking off some uh, old school essentials. We're starting up in the Thunder Riff, and we're going to be playing the adventure, the Knights of Newt. Uh, Thursday, we're also starting up something new with Watercolors and Warriors. Once again, old school essentials. Uh, but we're going to be playing the 5th Ed D&D Essentials Kit Adventure, The Dragons of Ice Spire Peak. Uh, Friday, we're going to be doing some more Shadow Run at 10 p.m. Central. And then next Saturday, Bert's running us through some fun stuff on Goodman Games Official. So that's what Defenders have this week. How about the Lollygaggers, Jeff? What you got going on? Uh, yeah, tomorrow night, twitch.tv slash the Lollygaggers, Ultraviolet Grasslands. You can see a couple of the folks here. Uh Friday, we've got Delta Green Impossible Landscapes. So we're getting very, very close to the end there uh, with our like a year long campaign. Saturday, One Ring, uh, second edition, and uh, alternating on the opposite Mondays of, of UVG. We just started up Deadlands, and so you can check it out on the YouTube page and, uh, and come back for, for session two. Cool. Dion, what you got going on? Uh, well, when you don't see me on Bert's channel on Tuesdays or. Fridays or Sundays, uh, you can find me on my channel at Substance is Used, where I play retro JRPG games. Right now we're going through the PS2 title, Star Ocean Till the End of Time. It's great, but also terrible. The cutscenes are just astronomically horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Steven, you got anything? Uh, I've been running Darkest House over on Defenders of Kabul with a few familiar faces from this group here. Uh, our next game is in just under four weeks, so you have to go to the Defenders of Kabul YouTube channel right now and get caught up on back episodes so you can join us for our next session. It's a lot of fun. I, I caught a full session myself just recently. Um, yeah, and our last person is a Cobalt. A but if you have anything there... <laughs> Well, a uh, message from our sponsor. Uh, oh, if there's one thing that daredevils love, it's cheering in the face of danger. And if there's another, it's eating snacks with like-minded friends. That's where YOLO comes in. 
Yolo is the hot new chocolatey chew that comes in rolls, and each roll contains one Yolo with a deadly poison, chemical, or hibernating parasite guaranteed to give you and your friends a taste of the daredevil life. Ready to take a chance? Then say it with me. Yolo, brought to Yolo. you by Chemicor. <laughs> I love your ad reads. Oh, def- <laughs> Dastardly Chemicor. You'll have to make a debut in Shadow <laughs> Uh, and if you found the channel, you know where we are, twitch.tv slash murder. We stream on Tuesdays, first edition Dungeons & Dragons, Fridays, BX Dungeons & Dragons, but we're taking a little break right now and just running some filler in before we start a new season. We just finished Castle Amber there. And uh, Sundays, uh, alternate this game with uh, others. The next game that we're going to be playing is going to be Boot Hill, another classic TSR game. Uh, so we're going to go Western. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. everybody.